yay you've made it to your last training you should feel so good um and i'm going to talk to you about when you hit that part of your business where you're like i feel like i've invited everybody like truth bomb you haven't um i'm not trying to be an asshole but like you haven't so here are some things you can look towards when you feel this way. So number one is scrolling through your actual contact list on your phone. There are a lot of numbers in there that you probably don't talk to on a daily basis, but just scrolling through that and seeing like, oh my God, I haven't talked to so-and-so in so many years, shoot them a message. Be like, hey, I was just scrolling through and wanted to see how you were doing. Just start out that conversation and if they don't respond, whatever. But just keep that in mind. There's a lot of people in your contact list that are open for you to invite. Next is doing the ABC method. So on your social media platform, go to your following, your friends list, whatever that may be, type in the letter A, every single person's name that starts with an A, shoot them a message. Hey, I've been thinking of you. Um, I have this to offer. Would you like to join me? Or something like that. Keep it very, very simple, but start with A, B, C, all the way through Z. And you can do that on every single social media that you have. Um, and then another thing you can do is a refer friend program. So I often ask my newest people or my oldest people, whoever, if they have somebody that they know would benefit or would like to join us as well, and just have them refer these people to you. Um, use them as a tool to keep your team growing. Um, it's also easier to invite when they have seen it be successful for somebody that they know personally it's not as weird of a message like a cold message if you would um when they have seen someone be successful and seen it change one of their friends lives they know that it's a possibility and that that might be an easier way for you to invite somebody so having your humans babes team whatever you want to call it um give you referrals that's totally okay and then the last thing is don't sleep on Facebook. I know a lot of people focus heavily on TikTok and Instagram because those are the newest things right now. However, your Facebook has been there for a very long time. I mean, I've had mine open since high school and there are a lot of people in there who trust you and know you as a person that it might make inviting a little bit easier. So don't forget to go back to the OG of social media. I mean, if you still have MySpace, by all means, go there. But um, don't forget about multiple forms of socials. It's also easier to invite when you actually know the person. In my opinion, when you first get started, it's awkward to message people you don't know and be like, hey, do you want to join me? I'm brand new at this. Da, 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 da. Whereas on other platforms, you've had a relationship with them at some point in your life that they know you a little bit more than just somebody that shows up on social media. So don't sleep on Facebook. I hit a lot of my success club numbers from that. I'm not saying that Instagram isn't a great way to network, but also don't forget about all the other options. So keep those things in mind. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, and that's it. Happy end of your mentorship.